Hello everyone, Tragic here with Risky Gambling Investments to do some VIP edition double masters boxes. I got these from different sources, so we're going to do a little experiment. It's going to be a bad experiment because it's not a big enough sample size, but I do want to kind of take a look at the different avenues by which I got these. Um, the first two here I got from MVP Sports, my usual go-to for boxes. Um, they allocated me only two of these back when they first went on their flash um, So that's all I got from them and they didn't have any available uh, until I don't even know what they do now The other two I had some I had a gift card I actually had eBay bucks So I got one from Cataclysm and I had a gift card to Amazon So I had to go with some rando 77 rising is the seller on this one. This is the one I'm most concerned about. It's all squished the box here it's actually split open down at the bottom do I got a reseal on my on my hands right now I'm gonna find that out here uh, I'm actually gonna save the the MVPs for last I feel the best about them let's open up the cataclysm one here and uh, get a baseline going on here and see if my big gamble paid off luckily with some eBay bucks and the gift card I'm not paying full price on these, so I don't feel so bad. I'm actually not going to be one of those guys that does the big boy openings with four full cases of this. I'm just not that loaded, but this is what I got here. All right, first one up. That glue looks correct. Cataclysm's been a solid seller, I think. I've got no concerns about them. Let's get this little pack of cards nice swords on the box inside there there's nothing much else you can do with this so it's done for we're after the last four here of course we'll go through the the commons and uncommons a little bit first whoop don't spoil it let's take a look what do we got here we get some more light here how's that foiling look great few commons here goblin crib swap some of these commons and uncommons in uh, in foil are gonna are gonna be worth a little bit and I'm not seeing any of them yet but here we go let's just go through the last of these here path to exile great uncommon Russian knowledge there we go is our first rare sunken ruins in foil with the correct uh, mana symbols I had seen there was an error of something like that floating around got a reshape second rare no mythic in this one all right first box topper Urza's power plant as expected I, I assume I'm gonna end up with quite a few of these and a and a brainstorm let's see what's in that big dog slot right here boom sword of I fire and ice I'm happy to have this very very cool card um, love the art I love the art on all the alternate sword arts here so there we go off to a good start and uh, some nice full art lands a couple of them foil and a couple of tokens that's our first pack all right that's how it goes real fast now uh, let's do this one from 77 rising never even heard of them off of Amazon just totally random they really beat this thing up did they reseal me this packaging is a little off from the other ones let's see how badly did they hose me here oh my gosh look at that glue that didn't that's not opening like that other one yep I don't know let's see how suspicious this looks a little loose in there I don't know if I, I can't really tell that this has been resealed in any way shape or form let's just get into it I'm assuming I'll get a brainstorm and a power another like a mine or something Did they sift through and find the goods? I better not. Let's try not to spoil it. 
welding jar is a good uncommon they left me that crop rotation golem artisan I think I'm spoiling whatever that is all right I gotta do it this way here we go Ash experience all right thought reflection pretty good rare it's not that great next up rugged prairie that's all right first box topper or is this mine what did I say what did I say so what's gonna be the big slot mana crypt oh my god all right I stand corrected seven seven rising on Amazon you're okay in my book all right I'll take that beautiful love it when I first saw this art I just I'm reminded of Dungeons and Dragons just totally Raiden the crypt gorgeous well I'll take it so this one card pays for all of my packs I think might be headed down a little bit there we go I'll get a sleeve for that in a second all right well I'm I'm pleasantly surprised nice swamp there and I got two of these left okay I take back everything I said about that random uh, Amazon seller all right these are my two from MVP can I uh, can I repeat the my success here so that um, that loose packaging on the last one and the beat up box it didn't really mean anything so let's see how's the glue look on this one yeah it seems more solid than that other one I don't know I just don't know the inside pack I, I have no qualms about MVP they've they've never given me any reason to think that they would tamper with anything so I feel uh, feeling pretty good about my pulls right now let's see can I get something else spicy Raven Inspector, kind of spicy. Lightning Axe, there we go. Some nice little, nice little artifacts. Nice little uncommons and commons. Where's our first rare? Not that. Ad nauseum. Pretty good rare to have in foil. I think this sees a lot of play. There's literally a deck named after this. Beacon of Unrest. Nothing too crazy there. First box topper, Expedition Map. Uh, gorgeous art, I love it. It's a useful card, but having it be a rare slot box topper, eh, it's all right. So what do we get behind it? A Dark Confidant, very nice. I actually, believe it or not, I'm gonna keep this for my cube. <laughs> I've been uh, having trouble finding one in my random buys, just a regular old Bob. So here we go. Very cool, very cool to have. So, as a box topper, nice island and a plains there. There we go. All right, last one up here. And maybe I'll scan these up and get a total here at the end. Let's see how I really did. Oh, yeah, last one from MVP. There we go. The rage that I would feel if that had been a repack. Full Duvian rage, in fact. All right, here we go. Rage, rebuke, battle, rattle, shaman. The chromatic star. Oops, I'm spoiling it again. I don't want to do that. Geth, Pongify. Very cool, uncommon to have in foil. Should probably put it in my great pile. I'm obviously gonna have to go back through that pile again. Artisan. Sharoom the Hegemon. Definitely not the rare I was looking for. Oh well. What else we got? Doom Necromancer. Another one that's nothing too great. Alright, first box topper. Or is this power plant? <laughs> Definitely gonna end up with a lot of those. I mean, maybe I'll play some Tron. Now I got a few of these. All right, big slot here. Boom! You're kidding me, right? Well, you don't get that out of a sealed four-pack case. So my gamble paid off by getting these from different uh, sellers. Two Mana Crypt box toppers. I would make that the thumbnail, except everyone would not be happy to be spoiled by that amazing let's get these out here gosh 
What am I doing here? Who could ask for more? All right, well that's what it is. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with my VIP packs. I don't think I'm gonna be getting many more of these because I can't imagine that I'm gonna do much better. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you think down below. Like and subscribe. Tragic MTG. See you later.